So this is how we find the number of electrons depending on what our atom is. So right here, you see here, it says number of electrons. We have shell one. So we know that shell one only has an S subshell. So found within that S subshell, we can only have two electrons in that subshell. So that means if we have an atom that has only one ring or shell or energy level, whatever you wanna call it, they're only going to be able to have a maximum of two electrons in that first shell. Next, we're gonna be moving on to shell four. We're gonna have an S, a P, a D, and an F shell. Now, you don't really see what that actually looks like in regards to shell shape like we see with the other ones. It looks completely different depending on the atom. It's gonna be all kinds of different configurations, so it's hard to really give you a prime example of what that is going to be. But if you're asked on the test, these are usually the three shapes that you're usually gonna be tested on. So how many electrons maximum can this fourth shell have? Well, it can have 32. So again, completely separate from anything that's happening within these first three levels. Our fourth level is going to have an S subshell of two, a P subshell of six, a D subshell of 10, and we're just gonna add four to get our F subshell of 14. 